What if you could breed two different Pokemon to make an entirely new one? Well, we can see what that might look like with hybrid Pokemon. Hey everyone, Brandon here. You guys really seem to enjoy the hybrid Pokemon video we did a couple months back. So today we're going to check out some more. There are actually a bunch of hybrid Pokemon that I reacted to, but ended up cutting from last video. So those reactions will be shown in this video. And Anardus Astray actually made some more hybrid Pokemon for Halloween. So we'll be checking those out as well. But to start, we're going to jump back to the past and see what past me had to say about those hybrid Pokemon that I cut from last video. Take it away, past Brandon. Next up, we have Grillipede, which is a mixture between Venipede and Sizzlipede so of course we have to have our two peed pokemon together peed together that doesn't sound right design's pretty all right it's not my favorite of the group but i really like its evolution costinger i love this design it's really epic really hard shelled giving me viking vibes it mixes the aspects of Scorch and scolipede that i really enjoy this is another one of the hybrid pokemon that can switch between types of bug fire or bug poison though i think the bug poison type doesn't make as much sense to me you could have even made it fire poison because honestly the bug type is not always necessary with bug pokemon this is drapion or flygon Next up, we have Slitail, which this one is pretty wild because it is Zangoose mixed with Saviper. I don't even want to ask how they managed to get a Saviper and a Zangoose to breed. They hate each other. I guess that's a hate breed. Sound like that. Anyway, Slitail is really cool and it gives me kind of Chimera energy. This one, I will say, is the most like kind of feels like a Pokemon fusion out of all out of the bunch. But I, I, I really do enjoy the design and apparently it evolves into war Varine. <laughs> this thing is crazy looking i really like how the chest and like stomach kind of pull together to make almost like a face um so like like this intimidating face kind of like arbok has on its you know chest what would you call that a chest i really like the type combo it's normal poison type which is a super fun type combo this was before we had grafai eye for normal poison type apparently this thing's called warverine not only because it looks vicious but because there's a war going on inside itself the two parts of its hybrid are still at war with each other inside its genetics which is just wild and epic Next up, we have Weezicle, which is a mixture between Mianfu and Sneasel. The names of these hybrid Pokemon have been so good. Just like Weezicle, like Icicle, top tier. Not only that, but the design plays into the Kama Itachi inspiration that both the Sneasel line and Mianxiao have, giving it these long ice claws to emulate the razor sharp long claws of the Kama Itachi. Weezicle evolves into Ermins. Ermins, Ermine plus Mints, because it's mincing people with these giant ice claws this thing's terrifying it's literally gonna ermince you to shreds it actually looks like in the dex entry it says that it uses these claws like chopsticks to pick up food which is so cute actually perfect pokemon vibes it looks like it could tear you apart but also be super cute at the same time next up we have a pokemon that i've talked about on the channel before and this is Pengwift. it's a hybrid between delibird and ice q and it comes together so perfectly making the ice cube head of ice cube into a gift inspired truly inspired you can literally see how this is the baby between deli bird and ice cube in the best way and making the little plumage of deli bird into the bow on top i mean are you kidding so incredibly clever here's what it looks like without the ice face and it's still just as cute and something I just noticed that's even just the smallest little detail that makes this design that much better you can see the little eye holes around the you know the ice cube present head but they also emulate little circles around deli bird's eyes that's just so genius oh my god next up we have glowbug which is a hybrid between scatterbug and dewpider the name glowbug is so clever because it mixes globe and bug because this thing's supposed to emulate a snow globe and the snow of the snow globe are the little particles from spupa that it releases to defend itself mixing the concepts together like this is just so brilliant Glowbug evolves into Flossomer. It's now using the little globe as its thorax that it can use to float, kind of like drift limb kind of energy. I kind of imagine if you pop the balloon and like just let out all this confetti, but the confetti is like deadly dust or something. I just read the dex entry and I was exactly right. If you pop the bubble, dust particles come out and it like confuses the prey. Isn't there a kind of spider that can do this that can like make like a web parachute or am I just imagining things? Next up is another Pokemon we've had on the channel before and this is Lumpty. It's a hybrid between Roly Coley and Carbink. This was posted around Christmas time last year and it's so great because it's the coal that you get in your stocking if you're a bad kid, but personified. And in its dex entry, it says that it goes from home to home trying to search out fireplaces to gain warmth. 
and which is really clever but even more clever is it'll give you coal or diamonds depending on how it liked its stay so I guess it depends how you get rated on Lumpty B&B &B or something Lumpty evolves into Garnelf which is additionally clever it's Garnet plus Elf and Elves are the helpers of Santa who put coals in the stockings it's floof even emulates Santa's beard middle stages aren't usually my favorites but this one has got to be one of my favorite middle stages that I've ever seen Garnelf evolves into Cinder Klaus which is a brilliant name it mixes Cinder plus Cinder Klaus which is the Dutch way of saying Santa Claus it's gone from the coal in the stocking to the person that puts it there it takes a little heap of coal on Colossal's back and turns it into Santa's hat apparently this Pokemon radiates a warm glow which is just like Santa because he emulates a nice Christmas cheer that warm glow that you get when you're around Santa this entire line is absolutely genius and I love it so so much thanks past me now back to the present and here we have ourselves a hybrid between Pumpkaboo and Litwick called Pumpkindle I like how Pumpkindle takes the jack-o'-lantern aspects of Pumpkaboo and Gorgai's designs and plays them up a little bit more and then you get the purple fire from Litwick and add it in there and it makes for a really interesting design. Pumpkindle evolves into Hollow Wisp, which I love that name. You know, Hollowed Out Pumpkin plus Will of the Wisp. I think that's a great name. You can definitely see Lampant and Chandelure in here with the way they decided to pose this Pokemon. This is a mid-stage Pokemon, and you can definitely feel that. It adds new elements like a body and legs and then an angrier expression, so you can definitely feel like it's going somewhere. And that direction is Harlequin, and I adore that name. Harlequin plus Pumpkin is just so genius. And you can really feel the full potential of hybrid Pokemon with this design. I mean, bringing together a chandelier and a pumpkin slash jack-o'-lantern to form this Harlequin, jack-o'-lantern, fire-throwing Pokemon is just so unique. One of my favorite little aspects of this design is the boots that it has are made out of rotting pumpkin roots. So it has root boots, which is just fun to say. I mean, root boots. I mean, that's just so fun to say. I don't know. I, maybe that's just me. If you've made it this far into the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to help support this channel and keep up to date with future videos. Next up, we have a hybrid between coughing and Drifloon, and this is Gasfix. And that name uh, is a little morbid if you think about it to be honest this isn't my favorite design of the video I think it's a little bit simple it feels more like a fusion but it's evolution Thagol is where it really shines I like the idea of this design it's kind of like when you blow up a balloon and then you let it go and it goes and then lands this is like if that was a ghost type Pokemon I really like the reference to helium balloons as well in this whole design because too much exposure to helium can be toxic or even fatal so poison toxic fatal ghost type I think that's really brilliant next up you have a hybrid between two of my favorite Pokemon lines Halucha and Zubat named Fanglide Halucha and Crobat are two of my favorite Pokemon in existence so fusing them together just concept wise is a win for me and the execution is just ah uh, chef's kiss Fanglide evolves into Draculucha and oh my goodness I love that name and I love this design it's completely giving me Dracula but it's also giving me Myotismon from Digimon which just makes me love it more because that was a great villain and it kind of almost feels like a harpy vampire hybrid because it has both the bird and bat like design aspects with more humanoid proportions and then you tie in the whole Dracula theming in there and it just makes for a very fun and unique design yet another one that I really wish existed and finally we have a hybrid between Magnemite and Geodude called Headrock. You could probably tell, but it's inspired by Frankenstein's monster, which is just gold. Taking the screws from Magnemite's head and then lodging them into Geodude's head to make a Frankenstein's monster is just so great. But this design gets even better as it goes on. Headrock evolves into Bustine, and that name is so clever. I mean, you have Bust plus Frankenstein, Bustine, because it's just a bust. It's the you know waist up with the arms and as you can see things are starting to come together literally the magnetic part of the magnemite line is coming together where these rocks are magnetically getting pulled together to form a bust and it all comes together with body boulder that name is so clever on a level I don't think you all understand it is a triple entendre its body is made of boulders but it's also a body builder because it's strong but it's also building its body out of boulders the, the cleverness is just too much for my brain to handle some details I really like about this design is you can see like some electric scarring like the scarring has come in the form of a lightning bolt some very Harry Potter kind of thing going on there which evolved from Bustine because Bustine kind of had that chipping in its head as well and these little magnetic points on its fingertips arms you know you can see the magnetism at play here 
and the way the chest pattern is designed almost kind of makes it look like a lab coat or like some kind of suit kind of like dr frankenstein and those are some more hybrid pokemon so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time